You'd think this was a story someone made up, but it's all more or less true as it happened. In the years after World War I, great changes were taking place in America. The Depression came and went, and Prohibition came to stay for 14 crime-filled years. In 1923, it brought to a Texas border town a lone and unarmed rider who would not have been able to buy a drink anyway. Prohibition or no. Because, you see, in those days, it was still against the law to sell firewater to an Indian. Beautiful boots. I'm going to make them shine like a mirror. You've been riding long? Very long. I've never seen you before. What is your name? Three persons. Thomas, three persons. I like that. You're an Indian? Cherokee. What do they call you? Alondo. Ah, you know this border towns. They're not fun anymore. They used to be a time. They were gunfighters and heroes. When a stranger rode into town, he goes straight to the saloon. And <laughs> not to a shoeshine boy. Now, there's not even a saloon to go to. You know a man named Harry Clay? Sure, everybody knows. His office is over there. Senor? Three persons? I like your name. I don't like my last name. Do you mind if I take yours? Don't. It'll give you nothing but trouble. Uh, took you a long time to get here. I wasn't sure I was coming. Are you busy? How'd you pay for that shoe shine? Saved up. Oh, it's a waste of money, Cherokee. I'm gonna dirty those boots of yours. The war's over, Captain. Don't tell me. Ask me. The last time I gave you an order, it got you decorated. It almost got me killed, too. Not that it bothered you. No, that wouldn't bother me. After all, what's one dead Indian, more or less? The world is changing, but you haven't. Oh, come on. You're still alive, aren't you? You still got your medal. I hocked it three months ago. So I get my boots fixed. So you're broke, huh? Well, I'm going to do you a favor. Come and work for me. You're telling me again. Rheumatism? Yeah, 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 rheumatism. 
You ought to go someplace where it's hot and dry. Now, look. What's the job? You buy a ranch with all your federal money? You want me to be your foreman? No. I want you to put on a uniform again, Cherokee. Police this time. So that's why you wrote me to come see you. Well, I heard you were having a tough time. Yeah, so... well, thanks. It was a nice trip. Guess I'll head back to New Mexico. There's a sheep ranch. Were you running sheep at Medicine Hat or in Durango? All right, I was a deputy of Medicine Hat and a private guard in Durango. They don't have wire fences in Durango. The gun marks the fence there. I shot a man. Oh, I had no choice. He pulled a gun. Big criminal. Rustled one skinny little old steer. I turned him over so I could see his face. And just before he died, he said three words. I was hungry. And his poor face was as skinny as that steer. I made up my mind that day I wouldn't put a gun on again ever. Mr. Clay, something happened. Now, don't tell me about it. Let me tell you, you didn't find Candy Gomez. He found you. You raided that shack at the edge of town. Oh, it was good information, very good. But nobody was home. The windows were all boarded up. I know, I've seen the place. And there was a bottle of nice, new, homegrown whiskey waiting for you on the table, and you nabbed it. And then somebody pulled the main beam of the house out, and the whole roof fell down on your heads. Is that right? Is that what happened? What's the difference? We just came here to tell you we was going to quit. <laughs> oh, no. I can't let you quit. You still got two weeks' pay coming. You're going to have to sue Washington, and that's a long way from here. Even by telegram. Well, the next time that Gomez is going to kill us. <laughs> Meantime, go down to the store and get me a cigar. Huh? What, the both of us? Yeah, it'll take both of you to handle it. Uh, that Gomez, Candy Gomez. Why don't you arrest him? Because he won't arrest. He lives about one mile from here, but it might as well be a thousand because it's across the Mexican border. He's 25 years old and he's rich. He and a fat joker named Charlie Rains are running 150 cases of liquor across the border two or three times a week. They're shooting and killing to get it across. And they've got every hoodlum in the area to work for them. In the past five months, they've killed three of my men. Two policemen. Bad stuff, that rheumatism. Oh, a shotgun blast. Candy Gomez. But Cherokee, I need someone who can fight at night, in the rocks, in the tall weeds. Indian style. Yeah, that's right. Twenty dollars a day. It's good pay for an Indian. That's pretty good pay for anybody. But I can't spend it like anybody, can I? No matter how much you pay me, there's some things I can't buy. No matter how much you pay me, there's some places I can't go. What do you want me to do, change the world? Well, you're coming to work for me? You asking? I'm asking. I'll think about it. What for? Because first I want to cross over the border, visit this fella Charlie Raines, and see if he can better your offer.
Whiskey, please. And one for Candy Gomez. He's here. You know who that man is? Sure, he's loco. Doesn't even carry a gun. Oh, don't let that fool you. What I hear, he's killed more men than Candido himself. <laughs> but he's a shooter. He never worked my side of the street, though. But he's famous. See, I know all about him. They spy on me, and I spy on them. Sometimes the same joker works for both of us. Double salary, double chance. Mr. Three Persons. It is you. It's me. An honor, sir. My name is Raines. Charlie Raines. Doubly honored. You know me. Apparently not as well as you seem to know me. Oh, don't underestimate your fame, sir. We exiles still remember your last trip to Mexico. It's a long time ago. General Pershing. I was just a scout. Are you still scouting? I'm not sure yet. Perhaps we can help you decide. Whatever Clay offered you, I'll give you $10 more cash money. Oh, you can do better than that, Mr. Reigns. I mean, for a man of my fame. Can you buy a drink? I'm not much on drinking. Can you vote? No, you can't. All you can do is their dirty work. Am I right, Mr. Three Person? What if they want you to do? Preserve law and order? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> and put you out of business. You and... Mr. Candy Gomez. I noticed you lost your gun, Indio. I thought maybe, possibly. You would like to share this one with me. What for? We're all friends here, aren't we? And because we are friend, Indio, we're going to have a friendly fight. That is why I took out five bullets and left only one. You see? I see. So only one gets killed. Okay? Fair enough. I'm not afraid to die. You afraid to die? Yes. <laughs> you are too kind to live on this earth. So I may have to deliver you to heaven. Such is the goodness of my heart. Lucky number. Did you know that? Or don't you believe in luck? Luck can run out. Not mine, Indio. I got that number in my dream. I always win with four. Four aces. Four of a kind. Four legs on my horse. Four women. In four different places. That's not luck. 
That's stupidity. I'm not afraid to die. You have the generosity. Please. Either kill me or give me back my gun. All right, Gomez. You prove whatever it is you wanted to prove. Now let's quit this game. Come on. See that cucaracha? <laughs> Your bullet, Gomez. So fast, Indio. You are not going to die so quick. When you die, you're going to do a little dance for me. Do you know how to dance? Dance! Come on, dance! Hey, oh, man. Dance! Oh, man. Take it. Charlie, let me go. Let me go. I don't dance, Gomez. Not for you, not for anybody. Easy, bandido. Easy. You better not wait around, Indio. belong to Charlie Raines? I don't belong to nobody. Why'd you do it? Are you going back across the border? Yeah. Do you know a boy there by the name of Alonzo, Shine Shoes? Maybe. Tell him to come and see me. Tell him to come and see Gracia. I see him. Day after tomorrow, by the creek, on this side of the border. If I see him. Please. I will do anything. You're kind of late in the day. So are you. I work here. So do I. What made you decide? You see Candy Gomez over there? Yeah. Likes to kill that one. Oh, yeah. And he's good at it, too. But so are you. I never liked it. How's your shoulder? That's all right. Now go down to the general store in the corner. They'll fix you up with a uniform and give you a 45. Oh, here, here. Get yourself a shine. 
Report back here at midnight. Charlie Raines is going to move out a big shipment. How do you know? I got word. A pigeon told me. Your pigeon? Or Charlie's pigeon? I'll see you at midnight. I don't hear a thing. That they got rags on the wheels. Two inches of grease on the axles. A little dust in my boots, Alonzo. Clean them up? Oh, sure. You look like you're happy. Met a friend of yours today. Who, me? What's his name? Girl. Named Grassy. I don't know her. I don't know nobody like her. She works across the border. i never been across the border. Beautiful girl. No more dust. Five cents, American. Please. Anyway, this girl you say you don't know, she wants you to come see her. Right away. Is she in trouble? Is she sick? Not sick. Sad, maybe. Sometimes I can be big trouble. This girl, you see her. You tell her not to bother me.
What's this grass here to you? Nothing. She used to be my sister. I'm thinking of going fishing. You grow any catfish around here? There's a creek, but it's below the border. Think you can show me where it is? You've never been below the border. I'll show you where it is. Lonzo, do me a favor. Walk in that hotel right now. What's the matter? Why? Do what I tell you. Was that your enemy? I didn't even know him. Hey, woman, where are you going? Hey, Charlie, tell it to me. I want to talk to inside. Leave her alone. It's her day off. She rides. Maybe she rides across the border. They'd send her right back. You see, Mr. Gomez, in the United States, they only admit decent citizens. <laughs> What's so funny? That's right, Charlie. That's why you're in Mexico. What's the matter? Nothing. I'm going back. Why? Just changed my mind. You afraid of something? No, I'm not afraid. Then what? I just want to go back. What? <laughs> This some kind of trap. Please, let go! I take him from my dead mother's arms. And I feed him, I buy him clothes, I show him to read, and I let him grow up to be a Yankee. And he hates me. He loves you. Maybe he doesn't like you, that's all. I am a cantina girl, and I work for Charlie Reigns. But he doesn't know me. That Alonzo, he doesn't know me. Why don't you leave, Charlie Raines? You don't make that much money, do you? Oh, I go run away. Sure. And after a while, he would send Gomez to find me. And then Gomez will find me, and then he will kill me the way he is going to kill you. Maybe. Maybe I'll kill him first. Sure. You keep shooting at the cockroaches. And maybe the bullet will bounce up and kill Gomez, huh? Yes. The 
other day. Why you don't kill him then? I gave up killing. I worry that. Now I have a friend that's in trouble. You mean you kill for friendship? And not for money? Grassy, if I won that next ship and a whiskey was coming in. So that's what you want. Information. Just like every policeman. That's why you come here today. I. I came because of Alonzo. I came because I made a promise. You lie, policeman. You lie. You lie. You're a beautiful woman. Wait! 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 Don't run away because I fight you. I have to fight you. I will tell. You don't have to tell me. No, I want to tell you. I want to tell. They will come the same place. Charlie does not think you will expect the same place twice. Big shipment? Yes. Many men and many barrels. And many rifles. When? Tonight. Thanks. I'll talk with Alonzo. No shooting till they get through. I use the flare pistol. Now, when I fire it, not before, you come out shooting. And be careful, because I'll be alongside. Now, take cover. You have to move, crawl. And no talking. Nothing. Silence. Like an engine? Yeah. Like an engine. Dead, two wounded. Theirs or ours? Theirs. He's happy. He's won. like that, Candido, do I? Easy, Candido, easy. We got to quit for a while, that's all. You got to quit, not me. Nobody make you general of this business. You can quit any time. If I were to shoot you, your blood would be yellow. Charlie, 
Let somebody run this whiskey who is made like me, like iron, like dynamite. What do you want me to do, huh? Charlie, there's a hole in the cantina. Somebody look and they spy. I tell you, they know everything. Somebody tell them. It's blind luck. No, Charlie, no blind luck. They knew the place and the time. We move, they move. One more night like the last one, and I cannot get any more men. It's blind luck. Clay can't buy my people. He hasn't got my kind of money. Where's your woman? She's riding. Riding. Maybe she ride out to see Harry Clay. Maybe. I pay her too much. Money. Maybe she has a sweet lover on the other side. She what? So I heard. So they tell me. One of the girls when she was drunk. And you know how a drunk will talk. They'll tell you everything. Cut her heart out if it's true. No, Charlie. I got a better idea. Three persons asked me. I came for him. How are you? You all right, huh? You eat, you sleep good, oh, huh? You're not my mother anymore. I am still your sister. Alonso, listen to me. Look at me. I think maybe Thomas, three persons is going to get rid of Charlie Reigns and Gomez. Oh. I can run away then. I can leave the cantina. I have money saved. We can go away. We can go to Mazatlan. Mazatlan? I have my own money. United States money. I'm through with all this. You are through with this? You are through with me? Do you think you can forget what you were? You think you can forget your mother and your father? I can forget. Across the border, it's easy to forget. I'm glad you are growing rich across the border. Shining shoes. But don't think you can forget. You can hide all day, but you must sleep. And when you sleep, you will dream. And you will dream of all of this. The sister you threw away. You don't have to go away with me. You can forget about me, that's all right. But don't try to kill what you are. You will only kill yourself.
I took her down to the church. She can't stay there forever. Your love life is your problem, Cherokee, not mine. She's your problem. You want me to finish this job? She's your problem. Listen, immigration will not give her a visa. They know who she is. Who is she? Who is she? She's a cantina girl. She belongs to Charlie Ray. She belongs to nobody. This cantina girl gave us the information we needed to have. If we get Gomez and Reigns, it's because this cantina girl helped us. How do I know what information she gave you? Because I say so. Now listen, you asked me to kill for you, and I did. Now you do this one thing for me. I can't. Not now, anyway. Later, after we've caught Gomez and Reigns, maybe. She can't go back. Gomez killed her brother. He'll kill her. I'm sorry. You can't quit. Things are going too good. We've stopped them four times now. I won't let you quit, Cherokee. Don't you ever call me Cherokee again. I'm not something you buy. I'm not something you pick up and put down like a gun. I'm not your Indian. Just remember that. You walk out that door and you've got trouble. I'm walking out this door. And I've got trouble. Don't, Tom. It's... What? Desertion in the face of the enemy? Arrest me, but later, Captain. Tom, where are you going? Across the border. You can't take them alone. You'd like to help me. Would you like to do that? Would you like to do that, Captain? You take Reigns, and I'll take Gomez. The law won't permit me to go across that border, and you know it. Oh, I know your law. I know your law. Your law keeps reminding me what I am and who I am. No thanks, Captain. Take care of your rheumatism. Do nothing foolish, Indio. Nothing foolish. Just something I should have done the first time I saw you. What for, Indio? You and me were two of a kind. We could be rich together. It is not too late. It's very late. Indio, you cannot kill a man like this. Like you killed that boy? No, no, Charlie. Charlie did it. I swear it, Charlie killed the boy. I saw him. These are your last words. You ought to speak the truth. Indio, I would like to say a prayer for Candido. Pray. Mr. Raines. Open your hand and let go of the gun. Where's the rest of your crew? Gone. There's only me. They're scared of you, Mr. Clay. They ran out on me.
Charlie Raines. Out of business. Thanks. For what? For crossing the line. Now, look. Don't get any ideas about why I came over here. It wasn't to save your hide. No. I'd have gotten him sooner or later. With or without me. That's right, Cherokee. That's right. Tom, you did a good job. Good job of killing? Where are you going now? It's all done, isn't it? So long, Cherokee. about me? How can I? I've got nothing. Nothing but memories of dead men, some of whose names I didn't even know. What's the difference? A man like me, what's he need? Nothing. Love? 